afternoon and welcome. We are here to dedicate the new softball diamond. I believe it was almost 10 years ago that this was first a dream and many people's vision. Uh, certainly Nicole, the head coach, had this vision, shared it with Mayor Hazel, brought it to the Board of Education, and we get to see what that dream has evolved into. I want to certainly uh, recognize a couple board members here, Cindy Piper and Barb Voorhees in the crowd, so thank you for being with us today and supporting this project. We had many other board members support the project. Thank the man above for the beautiful weather today. Amen. No doubt with the, with the great weather we have, I also want to make mention that we will be holding the first tournament game because of the job the girls have done and having a successful season thus far. Next Friday, come on back for the first tournament game. Throughout this building of this stadium, there's no question the city has been wonderful to work with. Most recently laying the cement pad over here towards the visitor's dugout, but certainly throughout the whole process they have been supportive and wonderful to work with. So we appreciate them so much. My wife and I appreciate living in the community. Salina is a great place and certainly Mayor Hazel helps make it that way and we do appreciate the cooperation. Mayor Jeff Hazel. Well, if you, Graham, you noticed they told me I had five minutes. I'm not uh -huh. sure why they would have done that to me. But nonetheless, I am truly grateful to be here, and I'm excited to be here. Um, and as Ken said, it was about 10 years ago. I remember meeting with a few people and Nicole, and we had um, she had this plan, and it was like, wow, how are we going to ever build this thing? Back in 2006, so 10 years later, we have a great field, and there are so many people that have pitched in for that. And I would be remiss of not telling you that Senator Faber went to bat for us. He got us a capital line item grant through the state budget in order to help build this quad complex out there. Along with the monies raised for this softball field, we were able to use it for a match. And I'm telling you, I, I think that we should be very pleased and thankful at the cooperation that we've got, not only locally, but even through the state and the governor's office. Quickly, one of the things when I think of Nicole, Nicole, why don't you come up here wherever you're at? There she is. One of the words that comes to my mind, and those of you that know Nicole will know this, it's perseverance. According to the dictionary, it says steady persistence in a course of action or a purpose, especially in spite of difficulties, obstacles, discouragement, and certainly time delay. And I think of Nicole, and I've talked to her in all those different emotions, but for me, I do understand that perseverance. And you know, at times we can't have anything um, immediately as we so often like to. Sometimes we just simply have to wait. But the, the senior girls up here tonight, I really appreciate them being with me. They've gone to a lot of trouble. And Nicole, there is a plaque that we have for you up here that um, I want to read to you. Coach Nicole, thank you for your dedication to Salina softball. Softball, thank you for teaching us. In life, you will strike out, but you get right back up to the plate. To play and work above the line. To support each other throughout the wins and losses. To always keep your eye on the ball, you never know what might be coming your way. Attitude can sometimes be the difference between success and failure. And most importantly, thank you for teaching us to believe in ourselves, our team, and our coaches. seniors have a few other items they want to give you, whether you wanted it or not. <laughs> yes, thanks Nicole and thanks Mayor, and Dr. Ken Smeezing. 
they're right. It was a coordinated effort, and a lot of people are involved, a lot of organizations, a lot of civic groups. And uh, without all of their help, uh, we would not be here tonight. Uh, some of the people we'd like to point out is the field fundraising crew, uh, some of our parents, uh, Julie Vogel, Brett and Stacy McGilvery, Deb Post, Lucy Donovan, Joan Zacharias, Cindy Piper, and obviously Nicole. We'd also like to thank the city again, Mayor Jeff Hazel, Tom Hitchcock, city council members, Joe Wolf, Bill Miller, and all the crew that helps out with ball diamonds. We'd also like to thank the school, the administration, the superintendents, Jesse Steinbrenner and Dr. Ken Schmeising, Mick Davis, Connie Rose, school board members, Matt Gilmore, Connie Paulus, Ken Fetters, Cindy Piper, and Amy Hoyne. Uh, in the athletic department, it started with, back with Bruce Boley and Donna Post, uh, now CJ Putoff. Uh, the Salina Athletic Boosters were a huge part in raising the funds for this field. Many, many, many local businesses and organizations, and we thank you all. I see quite a few of you here today, and we very, very much appreciate that. Some of the local businesses that we'd like to point out, Craig Oligus and Mac Athletics for doing all the dirty work. Craig, we appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Salina Lions Club. Uh, so we've got some scoreboard donators, uh, asset allocations, spec shots, and the BFW on our brand new scoreboard. <laughs> Second National Bank and Midwest Logistics Systems. Uh, we had anonymous donors that we would also like to thank. Salina Athletic Department and Salina Athletic Boosters. Again, without the boosters, uh, this project would not be done. Uh, again, I know from all the girls, from the school, from myself personally, I spent a lot of years uh, out in these parks. Uh, I know Jim Hess was, uh, if everybody remembers him, uh, was the uh, Parks and Recreation Director before I was. Uh, he is the reason this field and this park is even here. So I think he could look down now and be very happy with the development. I'd like to turn it over to Nicole. Thank you everyone for coming out today. It's such a beautiful day, the best one we've had all season. Um, it is a great privilege and honor to be out here and just be able to thank everyone personally and to uh, just bless every one of you for just being here and just giving your heart and uh, for this team. Um, I would like to acknowledge one more dedicated group of people that are near and dear to my heart. Uh, this dedicated team laid the groundwork, stood up for righteousness, were faithful, put in the time, and believed in this vision from its conception. I'd like to personally extend my heartfelt love and appreciation to the following. Cindy Piper, Judy Kuhn, Jeff and Jody Kerr, Bob and Connie Rose, my dad, my mom, my husband Matt, and my beautiful daughter Jordan for sacrificing mommy time for softball time. One team, one dream. That was our fundraising motto. You know, there's been so many teams that have gone before us that have shared the same heartbeat, the same vision, the same dream, in hopes of having a field to call their own and a ballpark to proudly wear the green and white in. It's a blessing and honor to contribute to the legacy and be a part of history in the making. Speaking of history, we would like to honor today the 1999 state semifinalist team. And I'm looking for them. Come on out, girls. these girls play in Ashland. It was the year of the locusts. And I know that because we camped out our first and last time ever, um, the year of the locusts. It was a very gross experience. Um, up in Ashland area. So uh, it was a thrill to watch you girls. Um, so anyway, here's how I was going to open it up. There was an exceptionally talented team of girls back in the spring of 1999. This team had chemistry and they raised and set the bar for future generations to come. 
through their determination, teamwork, athleticism, and their drive. If you know any of these ball players or even know them personally, you can see why they were so, so, so successful out there on the ball. I'd like to go just through some teams. <laughs> Quick team stats on these guys. Uh, they were in Division One at this time, correct? And they were 19 and 5 overall. So I was digging through some stats. Let's see if I get it right, okay? 7 and 2 in the WL. Okay, correct. For second, for second place, it's probably behind Bath, okay? 856 or 86% winning percentage. District final game was against St. Mary's. That's what I had with a score of 2-0. I, I was just going through your book. Regional final, New Philly. Now I remember that game, 4-3. And then the state semifinal game, you were lucky enough to draw North Canton Hoover. The score is 0-4. North Canton, yeah, they had uh, Kate, Kate, yeah, Kate Chain, who took them all the way. If you guys know anything about softball, Hoover is always there, okay? So we would like to go ahead and congratulate you guys and honor you with a t-shirt. Um, so I'm going to have Mackenzie Schaefer hand those out to you. All righty? championship and a trip to state. They will tell you that they were not the most talented Bulldog team to wear the green and white, but they embraced one another as a family, and when you mix that with talent, determination, and confidence, there was no stopping the heartbeat and drive of the most successful Bulldog team in our history. I'd like to honor our 2008 state runner-up team in Division II. percentage. 
notable wins. Can we even say it? Napoleon, district final game. Up in Dutchler in the middle of nowhere. Regional final game, Kenton Ridge scored 1 0. Toby can talk to you a little bit about that. Semi, uh, the semifinal state game, I'm sorry, semi or re regional final game, Kenton Ridge scored 1 0. Did I just say that? State semifinal game, Dover scored 2 1. And the state final game was Canfield, score 0 6, to give us the runner ups and a lot of tears. <laughs> I would like to congratulate you guys. It's an honor, privilege, and it's, it's wonderful to see you again. So congratulations.